12 phrases people use to gaslight you. Brought to you by Brainetic. Has anyone ever made you doubt your own memory, perception, and sanity? There is a term for this, gaslighting. It's a method of abusing others by manipulating, distracting, or distorting reality. Whichever method is used, gaslighting causes you to doubt what you already know to be true. Gaslighting is based on convincing someone that their memories, emotions, or beliefs are false. And even worse, it can be difficult to recognize and cope with it. It can happen at work, at home, or with friends, and it can happen at any time. Gaslighting is most common in romantic relationships, particularly when there is a power imbalance. As a result, we've put up a list of the most popular gaslighting terms to be wary of. Number 1. It's your fault. Gaslighters are notorious for their lack of accountability. A gaslighter will shift the blame to someone else no matter what happens, even if they are obviously at fault. They'll blame you for what happened, how you're feeling, or even how they're feeling. And they're not going to stop putting the blame on you, until you accept it. It's your fault if they're dissatisfied. It's also your fault if you're miserable. It's impossible to win. Number 2. I'm not mad. When a toxic person is upset, they frequently utilize nonverbal indicators such as indirect aggressiveness or the silent treatment to express their feelings, and even to punish you. When you ask them why they're upset, they pretend as if they don't understand what you're saying. This type of behavior is intended to make you doubt yourself. You get even more confused as confusion floods your mind. Number 3. You need help. Gaslighting terms often come in a lovely package that appears sincere on the outside but is deceptive on the inside. When you're gaslight, the phrase you need help is meant to manipulate, twist, and deceive you, even if it appears sincere. The abuser is actually implying that something is wrong with their victim in the hopes of triggering a cycle of self-doubt and concern, rather than genuine help. Don't be misled. When gaslighters say this, it's always on purpose, and it's usually to divert your attention away from their actions. Number 4. You're crazy. This deadly phrase is a direct attack on one's own thoughts, intended to provoke extreme cognitive dissonance or doubt. Accusing yourself of perceiving anything incorrectly can make you mistrust your memories and make you feel insane. It can be incredibly harmful if this statement or notion is repeated. When you lose faith in yourself, you become more reliant on your abuser. Number 5, you're just misinterpreting my intentions. Gaslighters may never grasp the concept of impact over intent. Instead, they will free themselves of responsibility by blaming it on a misunderstanding and claiming they only had pure intentions. Abusers frequently utilize this technique to draw attention away from their weaknesses and toward their self-assurance. They'll avoid apologizing by claiming that they didn't intend it that way. Don't be surprised if they tell a few lies as well. They'll say things like, it was all a misunderstanding, instead of acknowledging your feelings. Number 6. You always read too much into things. Gaslighters like to use, you o phrases, to make you stop in your tracks. These words signify, that you are on the right track. When you express concern about your abuser's behavior, they frequently worry that you'll keep digging into it. To urge you to stop, they say you're overthinking it, overanalyzing, or over anything. This is a highly toxic and disrespectful term, but it's also a phrase that, if you know what it means, can confirm your suspicions. Number 7. I never said or did anything like that, you're crazy. While this is one of the most prevalent gaslighting phrases, it is also one of the most sadistic. It makes fun of your sanity and demonstrates that they don't trust or believe you. While it's understandable for someone to forget anything they've said or done, it's absurd to believe you've hallucinated an entire memory. A gaslighter may even alter your memory, persuading you to believe a made-up version that they specifically created for you at that time. Number 8. It isn't a problem with me. If you haven't figured it out yet, gaslighters are masters at avoiding accountability. This term on the other hand is particularly harmful because it psychologically injures your self-esteem. These remarks can make you feel as though you aren't good enough or that you aren't deserving of love and respect. Abusers have a tendency to put their own fears and difficulties onto their victims, which can make you doubt yourself, your emotions, and your actions. Number 9. Forget about that. 
forget about it, a term a toxic person would use, as a deflection which means, shut up. People that claim this seek to avoid conflict rather than explore and resolve it, which is an indication of an unstable relationship. The truth is that no one will ever forget, and the wound will only worsen. And, as time passes, you'll probably become less and less willing to discuss your relationship's troubles until they're too much to handle. Number 10. You are the only person with whom I have an issue. Abusers enjoy invalidating you because it makes you less likely to fight back. They're saying that they're perfect and that any problems you have with them are your fault. The worst part is that they genuinely believe it and are unlikely to change their opinions. Number 11. You're abusing me. Victims of gaslighting are frequently accused of abuse. The actual abuser enjoys the satisfaction of deflecting from their abusive behavior. Even as you defend yourself and cope with the misery of the remarks. Number 12. If you're lucky, I'll forgive you. Gaslighters frequently go on power trips. They want you to believe you're the one who's at fault, and then they make you apologize and seek forgiveness, even when it's them who really should be apologizing. You might not even know what you're sorry for. It's possible that your main purpose is to calm them down or reconcile them. Once you're free, the abuser will make it a point to tell you how fortunate you are to have been forgiven. Also, they may not be able to let go of the thought that they have to put up with you all of the time, which is not the case. So, what should you do if you hear these venomous words? Are recognize and name them as gaslighting, whether it's happening now or in the past. Validate yourself about what is happening to you before you tell someone who might further gaslight you. Prepare to set your boundaries if you are gaslight. Keep a calm and steady tone instead than allowing your emotions to overwhelm you. If you found this video useful, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Thanks for taking the time to watch.